keep telling myself that it'll all be worth it in the end. If I wrote you a song, if I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Would it change for the better? If I wrote you a poem, if I posted a letter. Coming from a country that doesn't have vineyards, waking up in one in a motorhome was a unique and uplifting experience. 24 hours earlier, I knew nothing about wine except how to drink it. Is it me? The tour began outside in the vineyard, where we learned how vines are grown, pruned and maintained to achieve a given result. Then, it was time to taste the different produce while learning to recognize the unique character of each. After a refreshing night's sleep, we made ready to continue south. Our next planned stop is Montfort, about 40 kilometers north of saint jean pied de port the well-known starting point for the French Way on the Camino de Santiago. If I told you that I don't know where I'm going, don't know what to say, but I go without knowing. If I told we sat in the van and watched the others slowly depart one by one. going left as well. And we came in from the right. Mm. You have all the details there. It's part of the France Passion Programme as well. So the idea there is that you stay at someone's vineyard and it's cost free. You might have some basic services depending on the vineyard. And then, you know, it's um, not required, but you know, buy some of their produce and that keeps this whole service or idea going, you know, because it really is great, a great idea. I would definitely do this again. So it's kind of lovely tree-lined entranceway. So most of us were parked up here last night. There were about eight camper vans. There's that white one there which looks pretty packed, well packed. Had this wonderful lady Marie who just went through the history of the winery, learned a lot about vines yesterday that I didn't know. And this is just a small section of their vineyard. I think this is about one hectare here. I think they have eight hectares altogether. Bonjour. Tired looking jogger. We feel a bit refreshed. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. We're going to head down towards the Spanish border to a place called Montfort. The rain is really starting to come down now. So it looks like we're going to have a wet ride all the way to the Pyrenees. Day four's itinerary was to continue south and stop for lunch somewhere pleasant. Then it was a long trek all the way to the camping car air at Montfort, just 40 kilometers short of saint jean pied de port We stopped for lunch just outside the town of Lipuste, which is just off the A63, east of Biscarose. The navigator took us off the autoroute for a few kilometers, and just beyond Lipuste, we found this pleasant wooded spot and pulled in for an hour. 
This is where having a camper van comes into its own. Pulling into the side of the road? That's never a problem. There are so many benefits to avoiding the tolled auto routes. Set your navigator up to do this. It'll take you on and off the motorway to avoid toll boots. You'll save a lot of money and there'll always be a pleasant and picturesque surprise just around the next corner. So this is the camping car park at Monfort, which is about 40 kilometers north of saint jean pied de port which is kind of traditionally one of the main starting points into Spain on the French side um, of the Camino walk. So we'll look, have a look at that a bit later, but I'm just going to go up here. There's like an activity center and I need to do, I've just been eating stuff in myself for the last three or four days and I need to get back and do some training. So I found a little spot up here. It's a Sunday evening. There's like an activity park up here. Just brought my iPad. I have some cardio training on it, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do that. I really ate a lot of bread in the last few days. I was off bread for a while and I dropped about five and a half kilos over the last two months and I'm trying to lose another five kilos. So, just gonna go up here. I strolled up here a while ago. There's, it's kind of an adventure activity center. You can see down here there's uh, a river and there's some rapids. It's eight o'clock at night. So you can see right there. I can put the iPad on the bench and just get on with it. Looks like this. It's pretty quiet here. It's private so I just don't want to be disturbing anyone at the camping area. You'll notice I have a bit of blue tack on there. That's to cover the camera so nobody's watching me. You'd be amazed. Some of the things I know. Uh, being watched remotely. So, it's not a, a bad idea to cover your camera unless you absolutely need it. You just don't know these days. Anyway. This is Sean T225. I find this guy it's great for doing workouts at home. So, let's just get on with it. Cardio, no equipment needed. I don't have any equipment with me anyway, so, so. Oh, this yes. is T25. This is T25, Alpha yes. Cardio. You gotta focus for 25 minutes. All right, guys. You hear that? I've gotta focus, so. Now. Oh dear lord, this is tough. No pain, no gain. This is tough. Don't try this at home, folks. Four minutes to go, and I'm starting to fade. Oh dear. I keep telling myself that It'll all be worth it in the end. Time, T25. Okay. Thanks for sticking with me. Since January I've lost five and a half kilos. My goal being to lose 10. Just over halfway there. Simply, I essentially gave up bread. Middle of January. Gave up sweet things like chocolate. And just did a bit of training every day. I had T25 at home, so T25 is like, it's like a full fitness system. It's split into three sections, three five week sections. First section is called Alpha, second stage is called Beta, third stage is called Gamma, so it obviously gets progressively tougher as you go along. And it's five days a week, and it only takes 25 minutes, but it really is tough. And so we're about 38, 39 kilometers from Saint Jean Pierre de Port. There's two motorhome airs there. I think one is open all year round. We, we kind of want to get there early in the morning. I don't want to be wandering around the top of the Pyrenees looking for a park for night. Wonderful 
storehouse and it's filled with absolutely everything that you could ever need. It's just got everything you need, but the storehouse has a keeper. And in order to get anything out of the storehouse, you have to make friends with the keeper. If I told you that I don't know where I'm going, don't know what to say, but I go without knowing. If I told you that I don't know what to believe in, don't know how to pray, but I pray anyway. Tell me you're the one, you're the one for me now, cause what am I supposed to do? If you are not the one, not the one for me, then tell me now what I could do. Tell me you're the one, you're the one for me now, I pray that you believe it too. That you're the only one, only one for me, and I'm the only one for you. Thanks for watching. Do leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to come back for day five as we get closer to the Pyrenees and prepare to cross into Spain.